I'm sorry, I left out one small topic. I just want to squeeze it in right now. You're going to need this as part of your assignment. I want you to take this tree right here and tell me, discuss with your partner, where would I add a 22? Hopefully you'll agree with me that we add the 22 here. We agree? Yes. Okay, I would like you to calculate the balance factor. Do we agree that these are the balance factors? Yeah. Now, here is the confusion. Here is the confusion. We want to know which three nodes are we going to rotate. That's the confusion. To understand which three nodes we're going to rotate, we're going to start at the node that we just inserted, which is right here, and we're going to start heading up the tree until we reach a node that's out of balance. So you can see we get here, we're okay, we get here, we're okay, we get here, we're okay, we get here, we're out of balance. Which three nodes are our rotation nodes? Is it these three or is it some other set? Can you see that if this is the node that's out of balance that that node needs to be rotated? So it brings it back into balance, right? So which are the three nodes now that I need to, to rotate? Mr. Mulcahy, which are the three, sir? Yes, it's these three nodes that need to be rotated. So therefore, what kind of rotation am I going to do? I'm going to do an RL rotation, RL rotation. You see that, right? So we start with where we inserted, then we start heading up the tree till we find a problem, and then we take the three nodes that start at where the, the problem is and work our way down to the direction that we inserted. So here it will be these three nodes that we need to do the rotation on. And if you're not sure how to rotate these three nodes, you can look at my example on the board there to see what you need to do. So now you're going to need this as you work your tree example that I gave you earlier. I would like you, I would like you to create an AVL tree and process this set of keys. And I'd like you to have the head of the queue here and the tail here. So we're going to insert these elements from left to right like you read a book. So this will end up being the initial root of the tree. Of course, the root's going to change around as you do your rotations. But see if you can figure out what the final tree will look like. And here, here's what I want you to do. On your paper, you're going to need more than one piece of paper for this. Why? You're going to keep adding stuff, and I want, as you insert the new elements, the tree will fall out of balance. You'll need to rotate it to bring it back into balance. And I want you to show me every step along the way so that you've basically got a history of all the rotations that you've done on the tree. All right, let's step through this one example, which will be similar to what your quiz will be like next class. And we'll see how we uh, rotate the tree as we go, keep it in balance, etc. So the first root we're going to have is going to be 55. So let's put that in right there. That's our root. And then we're going to add the 35. 35 is less than 55, so we're going to add the 35 here. And then we're going to add the 25 here. And now we see that our tree is out of balance because the root node has a balance factor of what? Two. Two. So we can see that it's left heavy, so we're going to need to do an LL rotation. So we're going to have to rotate it this way. And so after we're done with that rotation, it's going to look like that. So we're done with this one, this one, and this one. And now we're going to add the 40. Where is the 40 going to end up, Mr. F? Sorry, Left child of 55, so... The 40 is going to end up over here. And what I want to know is, is this tree out of balance or not? Yes, Mila, it is not. So we're going to keep going here. So next we're going to add the 45. So let's add the 45. Where does the 45 end up on this tree here? Mr. Nikita, when we add new nodes to a binary search tree, they always become leaves of the new tree. That's an important property of binary search trees. And what I want to know now is, is our tree still balanced? It is not. What is the node that is out of balance, Mila? OK, let's calculate all the balance factors here. So this one is 0. We need to restore balance here. Well, you say, well, what about this node? When we restore balance here, this node will get fixed. Why these nodes? Because we insert it here, and we go up the tree until we find the first node that's out of balance. That's this node right here. So now we need to do a balance of these three nodes. So we need to do an LR, an LR balance. So what will the tree look like now 
after we're finished. I think the 35 will stay here and the 25 will stay there. And what will become our, our, our uh, tree over here? Okay, Mila. So that's what it's going to look like. We've brought the tree back into balance now. Now we have to add the 37. And what I want to know, sir, is, is the tree still in balance? It's not balanced. Okay, let's calculate the balance factors again. So these are going to be zero. Sir, if we rotate here, these nodes are all in balance, so it wouldn't make sense to rotate over those nodes. So we're going to start going up the tree to find a node that's unbalanced. What's the node that's unbalanced? Yes. So now you can see that these are the nodes that we need to use for our balance here. So we need to do an RL balance. We need to do an RL balance. So to do an RL balance, uh, we're going to bring, we're going to uh, rotate and then rotate again. Who can tell me what does the tree look like here? Okay, Mila, you're up again. Um, What's the new root going to be? 40. 40, okay. And then left child? Everybody get that? Okay, so now we're done with this one. And then the last one we have to add is 65. So where's that one going to go, Mr. Alejandro? Okay, which is the node that's gotten out of balance now? The 45 has gotten out of balance. So you can see that here we're going to need to do a RR rotation. So the final tree will look like this now. This was a relatively simple example because the subtrees that were hanging on either didn't exist or very small. Try to understand that that gives the most generic case on the board there where you have a full subtree getting in the way. And you want to make sure you understand what happens to those subtrees for the quiz that's coming on Wednesday. Anybody have any questions? about What do you think about AVL trees? I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, they're cool. And the thing that's nice about them versus the red-black is like, you look at red-black, you're like, what the hell is going on? You just can't figure out what's going on. Here it's extremely visual. You can see as soon as it gets out of balance even slightly, we bring it back. By the way, the reason, I'll take your question in a second, the reason why people prefer red-black trees is that red-black trees don't really balance the tree at, even at the slightest imbalance. They kind of only rebalance it when it's absolutely necessary. And as a result of that, you have to do far fewer rotations. So it's less computationally intensive. It's faster. And so that's why people prefer red-black trees. But for teaching high school and the basics, I think AVL tree makes more sense. 